Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss all about makeup primers. I'm very much sure we all know what a primer is. At least what does it do in a makeup or what part or role it has before doing a makeup. Now, do you really know how to choose a primer according to your skin tone or even if you don't wish to wear a makeup, you can still go for a primer and that does the work for you like a no makeup makeup look with exactly no makeup on your skin. Do you want to know how it is to be done? Then please continue with the video. Now let's see how to choose a primer. There are three ways you can do this. First is according to the skin type. Now if you have no other problem and the main concern of your skin is dry like after a bath if your skin dies for hydration then surely you need a nourishing primer. Look for primers that has been labeled as hydrating, soothing or replenishing. Now these are the words that you need to look for when you choose a primer for a dry skin. Now if the struggle for you is you know excess oil and shine then surely your skin is oily. Now over here you need to go for products that reduce or minimize the appearance of oil and also the pores. So go for products that are being written or labeled as mattifying. These are the ones that go best or hand in hand for oily skin tone. Also see to it that you choose or go for oil free formulas when it is an oily skin. Now if you find your skin sensitive to certain products then surely you have a sensitive skin. Herein while choosing a primer you need to look for something that has no essential oils, no chemicals, fragrant free and least number of ingredient. That is something that you need to look for when you're going for a primer for a sensitive skin. Now, with the age, the skin becomes blotchy and gets filled with fine lines. Here, you need to look for primer that has antioxidants and hydrating. Cause with the age, skin has a tendency to become dry. In fact, more on the drier side. So here, you need to surely go for something that is much hydrating. Secondly, when we move to choosing primers according to the skin issues, like if you want a smooth complexion or you have problem like redness or unevenness on your skin, then there are color correcting primers available in the market. Like for example, if you have redness on your skin and that is an issue, you can go for green correcting primers. Also, if you have blue veins appearing on the skin or on the face, you can go for yellow primers or yellow correcting primers. Also, if there is, you know, hyperpigmentation, the dark circles, you can go for peach color correction primers. And if there is no problem on the skin and it is just the dullness that you feel, you can go for a pink correcting primer that provides a healthy blush glow to your skin. Now, likewise, you can get a lot of primers that are meant to color correct or treat specific skin issues on your skin and you can surely go for one if your issue is something as I mentioned above. Now if you have an acne prone skin go for something that has non comedogenic properties that means that won't clog your pores. Also go for primers that have salicylic acid in it. These are something that work best for acne prone skin. Now if you have high pores or pores on your skin these are something that you can go for pore minimizing or pore or to reduce the appearance of pores on your skin i'm sure most of us don't want a lot of makeup on our skin on daily basis and just want to have an even skin or a skin looking healthy these skin issue solving primers do the work for you so instead of going for a lot of products you can just go for these skin issue related primers and then it is a win-win situation for you or the type according you can choose your primer there are sometimes situations where your skin requires multiple primers like there are situations where at some point of our face we have like dryness or oiliness and on the other side of the face it's completely dry so you can go for a combination of primers as well there is not at all any compulsion that you need to go for one primer for one skin concern like if you are someone who has pores and large pores 
on the chin and the rest part of your skin is completely dry choose a primer accordingly for the chin you can go for a primer which is poreless primer and the other part of the skin you can go with a hydrating primer so primers or choosing a primer has to be done according to your skin issues or skin concerns that doesn't have to be get stuck or that doesn't have to be revolved around a single primer instead go for something that takes care of your skin also on a really sunny day try to go for a primer that has an spf to it so that you don't have to put a lot of primer and then sunscreen instead go for one product creation i hope this video was helpful to you i didn't mention any single product in this video was because whatever ways i have mentioned you can choose your product accordingly if you put your concern and search for a primer you'll get n number of products for this so you can choose it according to the rating and the reviews that you get hope this was helpful for you and if you like my content and want to get more videos for related to skin issues makeup do spare a moment to subscribe my channel and hit that bell notification so that you get all my videos on time thank you so much